series next year. I think he's somebody that we should really take a lot of pride on because we have got a lot of British drivers who are going to Watching on the big screens, Sebastian Ogier, five time winner now of the Short Wales Rally GP. Yeah! A tiring week, and it has been some long stages, some New stages are not for the competitors to uh, look at. And Gary Champions going to go and have a word with the winner. Four times you've been here, and now it's five. Can you believe that? I don't know if I can believe it. It was such an intense weekend. Uh, you know, we had all the emotion. On Friday, we had a very difficult start with some issues with gearbox when we had to run a few stages with our first and second gear. So we had some time there, and then I was thinking for sure uh, my weekend going to be hard. But then uh, we kept fighting, we never gave up, and uh, we ended up, uh, we were told we fight for second place, but then we had a problem yesterday, so then we, we were fighting for victory, and uh, up to the end, Gary was giving me a hard time, I knew he was uh, very determined to win this rally, and uh, I knew I had to be at my best, and I think I managed to be at my best, especially in Great Home on Tarmac, but also in the forest, uh, through the second pass of the core stage, so a uh, very happy, very important point for the championship. It's also unusual for a rally in the World Championship that we get to the very last stage and it's really important. Yeah, well, I think uh, in our days it's more and more uh, common that you have big fights until the end. And uh, yeah, it was, uh, I'm sure, I hope you like it uh, because it was, uh, for me inside, it was an amazing fight and uh, really good fun. So thank you for the support. And helps your World Championship chances. Yeah, it's great for sure. We are doing a, a big step ahead again and. Uh, yeah, with two, two races to go now, uh, it's definitely uh, more possible than ever for us. Okay, lovely. Thank you very much, Dee Sebastian and Jay. Yeah. Thank you. So now we can put out our podiums and introduce the others to uh, the front here. So we have third and second that we'll introduce up. As we put the podiums down, let us ask them to come up to... <laughs> He's been snoring slightly as they're being interviewed further back. Vanessa Pekelapi, we are expecting to come up as well. And of course, a man that is no stranger to Wales Rally GB at all, Yari Matti Lapvilla. The second and third place crews making their way forward now. Along with a host of uh, media, large numbers turning out for this anti penultimate round of the 2018 World Championships, Spain and Australia yet to come, so still a three way fight. So I think we can introduce them then. In third place, the Toyota Gazoo Racing team of Esa Pakilabi and Yanni Farr. And in second place, Toyota Gazoo Racing, Yari Matti Lampola and Mika Antilla. We'll try that again. Yari Matti Lampola! Okay, third time. Yari, there he is, you see, thank you. And let's put our hands together, ladies and gentlemen, for first place, representing the M Sport Ford World Rally Team, Sebastian Ogier! So please, will you stand, ladies and gentlemen, for the anthem of the winning driver,
Ten have the representative please from the M Sport Ford World Rally Team and I would assume it's the man with the biggest smile in rallying, ladies and gentlemen, Malcolm Wilson! And the national anthem of the winning manufacturer. trophies first of all and the trophy presented to the winning manufacturer by a man also that's no stranger to rallying, David Richards, the chairman of the Motorsports Association. Thank you David. And our Trophy then to third place. Please welcome to the stage Councillor Gareth Jones, the leader of Conway County Borough Council. And the second place trophy, and we're delighted that she's here with us uh, today. Can we introduce, please, Jill Ryan, the director of Day Insure, our event sponsor. to the winning driver and co-driver and that goes to Councillor Louise Emery, she is the cabinet member for the economic development in Conway and that ladies and gentlemen is the trophy. Oh that's a big trophy. Oh that's more like it. <laughs> It must be yours. Okay, I'll do it next year. <laughs> just leave the lead. It's fine, we'll have that next year. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our celebrations and our trophy presentations here today. And we will do WRC2 next, doing the photographs for the world's press. You'll see these tomorrow morning in your newspapers. find space for Malcolm in the middle really. Come on Malcolm, where's that smile? That's it, you see, that's, see? I can't boost you up by saying there's the biggest smile in rallying, you don't smile. And I think ladies and gentlemen, we ought to invite the team up as well. So uh, while Seb is still there, if Malcolm wants to get his boys up for a photo with the car. Thoroughly deserved after the rally they've had. And of course, those of you that are taking photos, uh, it'd be lovely if you put them on social media and you can send them in to uh, Wells Rally GB as well, and they will put them on the Wells Rally GB Twitter feed, the Facebook page, and various other social media sites as well. Ready? Apparently Jonathan Gill's got a prize to give away. He's... <coughs> Well done. Congrats.
congratulations for winners of the 2018 Tay and Shaw Wales Rally GB. So fantastic scenes here on the seafront at Llandudno. Uh, the uh, winning car will uh, shortly uh, be making its way off the uh, finish ramp here and it will be replaced by uh, the winner of uh, WRC2. And we bring to an end uh, a grueling Wales Rally GB weather on uh, Saturday. Uh, being rather unfriendly, I say being rather unfriendly, uh, but it uh, improved uh, yesterday and into uh, today at uh, Slate Mountain on Friday, in particular with uh, fog and a lot of rain making uh, conditions hugely challenging for the competitors in the main event. It is worth just mentioning that uh, we also have had over the uh, weekend the, uh, the national rally, which uh, Run over the first two days of the weekend. That was won by Drew Gallagher, who had earlier in the year become the uh, Scottish Rally Champion. Oh, yeah. <laughs>